During the ARMS presentation a few months back, I was surprised when they didn't show off any amiibo to go with it. it. Seems like almost every Nintendo game releasing with it is an amiibo or two. Or three. Or six. It's no surprise that Nintendo is pushing the little plastic figures, they sell like crazy. They're a huge moneymaker for them. They are probably the most profitable part of the Wii U's generation. If you somehow don't know, amiibo are little figures of Nintendo characters with magic inside so that they can interact with games. The first wave were Smash Bros. figures released in November 2014. Ever since then, Nintendo has released figures for Mario, Zelda, Kirby, Splatoon, Animal Crossing, pretty much any series when they get the opportunity. But it's not like they're doing anything with all these amiibo. Pretty much every game just uses them to unlock costumes or something. Only a handful of games actually use them for something unique. In Smash Bros., they act as a computer player that you have to train and teach them moves. In Shovel Knight, you can level up your amiibo, and when you do, you unlock fun cosmetics. It's all saved the figures so you can take them and use them on any game or system and all the data will be there. My favorite use of them so far is Wolf Link Amiibo that came with Twilight Princess HD. When you use the Amiibo, you enter the Cave of Shadows. It's a challenge where you have to fight through floors of enemies as Wolf Link. It's basically the Cave of Ordeals, but for Wolf Link only. When you beat it, however many hearts you had left is saved to the Amiibo. Then when you scan it into Breath of the Wild, the wolf link that spawns has the amount of hearts saved. I know a lot of people didn't like this, but I thought it was awesome. This was the first time that they utilized transferring amiibo saves from one game into another. Up to this point, the saved amiibo data was never used for anything more besides the one game that it was saved in. Plus, it was awesome getting to play this challenge before Breath of the Wild came out. It only made me even more excited for the game. I was getting to train wolf link so he would be stronger so that he'd be a better companion later. It really made it feel like the Wolf Link I played as in Twilight Princess was the same one that I fought alongside in Breath of the Wild. And that's the whole point, for the figures to feel like they are a unique character that can transfer from game to game. There's so much potential for Amiibo, yet all they get used for is to unlock costumes and gate off content. What is my purpose? You unlock costumes! Oh my god. Not that it matters much, because it's not like you can get the figures you want. They've always sold so quickly, there are certain figures that you just can't get because you never see them anywhere. Amiibo stock is so bad, I'm not sure if they rarely make any or the demand is so high that they all sell out nearly instantly. With every batch of Amiibo, there's always been that one that is unicorn levels of rare. Sometimes it's more than one, and sometimes it's a whole series. And who knows which ones will get a re-release or not. When you see one you want that's on the shelf, you have no idea if you'll see it in stores again after that. I think that's where a lot of the sales are, I mean, I've certainly bought figures just because I wasn't sure if I was get a chance to buy it tomorrow or next week or whatever. And then there's pre-ordering. Because they can go so quickly, most retailers offer you to pre-order so that you can claim them before they're sold. <sighs> With that comes a whole new set of problems. Now it's a race to pre-order, and this time you aren't just against your locals, you're against the entire country, or even outside your country. I had to pre-order the Breath of the Wild Zelda amiibo from Amazon.co.uk. Um, sorry, I got an email. Hang on. Let me just check this real quick. Oh, it's from Amazon. So yeah, that happened in the middle of writing this video. And I was so happy that I was finally able to claim a Zelda. So, okay. Let's say that there is a new amiibo that you want to buy. Here's what you have to do. First, you have to constantly check the sites to see when they'll be available to pre-order. It could happen from when it's announced all the way to when it's released, so make sure to check every day. Once the pre-orders are available, make sure to try and get any that you can. It'll probably take you a few tries before you can actually get one. So you get your pre-order and you can just sit back and relax. As the release gets closer, you get an email saying that your pre-order was cancelled for some unknown reason. At this point, you can't get any more pre-orders, so you're going to have to go on the day of the release and try and get it. So you get up at 5 in the morning and wait outside in a line at GameStop and luckily they had enough. You were able to get one even after the long line that is in front of you. And you finally have it. The $13 amiibo you want. Can't wait to unlock some costumes with this. But let's say that that doesn't happen. And you check the stores after the fact and you can't find the one you want. So what are your options? Well, you could wait and pray that they do a restock. And while you do that, you could check online to see if there's any available there. And there will be. For nearly four times the price. I mean, that's one of the reasons they go so quickly. They sell out quickly because there's a lot of people who actually want the figures, but then there's a whole business made from people buying a batch of them and then selling them online. This is so profitable that it's become almost standard practice with every Amiibo release. 
They're referred to as scalpers, and this has been going on long before any amiibo. While they certainly don't help, I don't think they're as bad as many people believe. Nintendo and retailers have done a pretty good job to moderate the resellers. What is a big deal is the amount of figures that the stores are getting. I don't know how many times I've seen a post or a report saying that their local store only got two or three of a highly sought after amiibo. Because of the low stocks, you're inclined to get the amiibo figures quickly, including the ones that you might not necessarily want. But what's the point, right? I already said that they don't have much functionality, so why bother? Well, multiple reasons. First, when it's just an unlockable costume or something, you can't get it without that amiibo. Yeah, like that Pac-Man costume? Better get the amiibo. And you might think this sounds a bit ridiculous, paying $13 just for a costume. But it starts to seem a little bit more reasonable when it also has functionality in other games, even if you won't ever use it. Plus, it is a cool collectible figure, right? But mainly, there is a high chance that a new game will come out that'll utilize this amiibo. The game might release years later so that amiibo that has new features won't be sold anymore. Which is a bit of an issue, but I'll talk about that in a second. I enjoy the Breath of the Wild amiibo. The figures themselves look very nice, but the in-game functionality is kinda neat too. You scan the chunk of plastic and it'll drop a bunch of random crap in a chest full of goodies. The chest items is semi-random, but in them you can get nice weapons, arrows, and then the good stuff, the exclusive costumes. You can get classic Link costumes and weapons that you can only get through these amiibo. The chest contents are random, and you can only scan each amiibo at once a day, so you have to continually scan them if you want all of the stuff. And I like that! It's neat, you have to keep coming back and try to get a prize. It's like loot boxes, but you don't have to buy them and they don't contain complete garbage blizzard, the system sucks, you should just- <clears throat> Uh, that's a video for another day. So cool, right? You get some cool figures for the game, and in return you get some neat costumes. This works well because the figures came out at release, so when you buy the game, if you want, you can pick up an amiibo or two with it and get some neat bonus costumes. I mean, that just makes sense, right? You want the game's amiibos to get the good stuff. I mean, how crazy would it be if Breath of the Wild amiibos just gave some random garbage and all the cool costumes were unlocked by amiibo that weren't sold anymore? <laughs> oh wait, that's exactly what happened! The Breath of the Wild amiibo, you know, the ones that are actually sold alongside the game, don't give you anything new. It's all just random weapons from the game, which is fine I guess, but there are a handful of awesome classic costumes that you can only get from figures that aren't sold anymore. Hey, this is a really neat costume, yeah? Cool, right? Want it? Well, I hope you can pay the $68 for a figure that was originally only 13 At least Nintendo did a limited re-release so the people who hadn't gotten them had a chance to get them one last time. Nope! And that makes too much sense. I've been trying to buy all the Zelda series amiibo every time that a new one releases, and I haven't been able to get them all. Even the new ones can be impossible to get at launch. The Breath of the Wild ones, even when they came out, they were hard to find. And like, how could they not expect them to sell like crazy? At the time, they were the only new amiibo for a long while, and for a game as anticipated as Breath of the Wild. Again, I'm not sure if they made millions and they all sold out so quickly, or they just made like, a couple hundred. And back to what I call the amiibo paradox. Okay, one of the big selling points for Amiibo is that you buy the figure and games will add features for it. It's like a season pass or something, buying a Link Amiibo will get you Link-related stuff in future games. It's pretty cool having an Amiibo and then a game comes out and you can already unlock some cool stuff. This is a good thing that they should continue doing. And then the games come out and you can't get the Amiibo for it because it's not being made anymore. But if they stop doing that, then they'll just release more Amiibos and you end up paying $13 for each Amiibo that you only use once. I mean, the solution isn't as easy as just always have them in stock, right? Well, let's take a look at the OG Toys of Life money laundering scheme, Skylanders. It's a bit harder to tell if their stock is good because they have released a lot of new games and figures with the games, and, and also I, because I, I know nothing about Skylanders. But from what I can tell, it's way easier to go to a store and pick up a neat Skylander than it is an amiibo. That could just be because they're not known characters, like, what is this guy? He's got like a tuba and... Well, oh, kid, this guy just has a head coming out of his crotch. And now look at the amiibo, like, got like, Luigi and, like, Daisy and... Man, this looks like the Island of Misfit Toys. Of course, a whole new slew of this generation's pogs were announced at E3. And sure enough, they're all ones I really want. Oh, oh cool, more classic links that unlock really cool costumes in Breath of the Wild. Oh, 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 and some of them are retailer exclusive? That always helps everything. Oh, oh yeah, cool, Metroid amiibos. Can't wait to never get them. And the Metroid Squishy? Yeah, no, I don't need that. <sighs> I need them.
Well, the years start coming and they don't stop 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 coming. So what am I gonna do about it? Make a whiny video on the internet, of course. Obviously, Nintendo knows this is an issue. How could they not? But it's the silence and the fact that they don't do much to help it. When they started to restock the first Smash Brothers ones, I was so excited and hopeful that this would be a trend of them re-releasing the rare ones so that they wouldn't be rare anymore. I mean, these aren't collector items where they only make a set amount, and we have seen a few restocks, but it's still not enough to drown out all the Animal Crossing boxes. So this isn't scripted, this, this is um, added after I started editing the video. So, the three new Zelda amiibo had come out, um, as I was editing the video, and I, on the 23rd, the day that they came out, I visited multiple stores, local stores, and I visited all the stores that I could find, and none of them had any stock. Like, how many did they make? I don't live in a super big town, and... It's, it's like, it, it's co awesome costumes, like Fierce Deity Link. Uh, that's awesome! But it's gated off by this, like, it's not even a paywall because you can't even get them. I, I would rather buy, like, $5 DLC just to get all this stuff. And whenever there's a new one announced, I can't get excited for them because I just think, can't wait to to hope to get that one, but then be disappointed when there's none around, and I have to sit and wait and call people and stand in lines and... I don't know. Back to the video. Dear Nintendo, I enjoy buying Amiibo. However, many people, myself included, can't get any of the figures we would like. So please, I ask you to continue re-releasing older Amiibo. I would love for the Wind Waker 25th Anniversary Amiibo to get restocked, as those are ones that I just can't find anymore. I would really like to purchase the figures, but I am not able to, because I cannot find them anymore. Many people use their phones to code their own NFC chip so that they can get the Amiibo data for free, but I don't want to have to resort to that. Hopefully you guys are working on a solution to this, and I hope that the new Amiibo, such as Metroid Samus Returns and the new Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibo, will be easy to find and buy. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good day. I really doubt I'll get a response. I don't expect to. I'm only sending this on principle. Emails, tweets, and Reddit comments don't make an impact. In this digital age, you'd be surprised how much a simple letter can make an impact on the company. And hey, maybe they'll think I'm a five-year-old and they'll just send me the Wind Waker ones. I mean, that's where we're at. You have a better chance at sending a letter and asking for one than you do just going to the stores and checking. And again, I was practically finished with the video, but guess what showed up in the mailbox? A letter from Nintendo. Unfortunately, they sent no amiibo with it. Dear Hopper, Thanks for writing to us. In your letter, you expressed your difficulties with locating certain amiibo figures. I'm sorry to hear that you've been unable to locate these amiibo. I'd like you to know that I've documented your difficulty in locating them as feedback. We are constantly looking for the opportunity to reissue amiibo and are already bringing back some currently out of stock amiibo figures. It may be worth it to try searching an expanded net of retailers including both local and online. What do you think I've been doing? I hope that you are able to acquire these specific amiibos. Thank you again for writing to us. Sincerely, Shane Schaefer, Nintendo of America. So that's a bit of a surprise. They actually responded. Nothing really noteworthy, but it's still pretty neat. This is probably just all PR talk, but hey, it's better than some automated response or no response like I was expecting. But I think it was worth throwing in the video real quick. Plus, now we know my boy Shane is on our side. I really do hope this issue is solved somehow. I dream of the days that I can go into a store on any day of the week and pick up the amiibo I want off the shelves. Really doubt that'll happen, but eh. I feel bad for all the kids who just want some figures for Christmas. And I should be providing a solution to this or talking about ways that could help, but that's not my job. And they don't stop.